Hi there, this is a project that I showed on my Facebook page and it was made with pinwheels which came as part of the June My Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I just wanted to give you some tips on putting this together. You're going to use a craft ring and I did paint mine white. Just um, any kind of white paint will work just fine. And when you start spacing these little guys apart, if you have one at the top and then go directly to the bottom. So if you think 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And then you can fit two more pinwheels in between those. Now the other thing that I found helpful is if you have the pinwheels all going in the same direction, they kind of nest together better. So what I mean is, see how this one is curving to the left and this one is curving to the right. So if you keep these all in the same direction, they will nest a little bit easier when you're going around the wreath. Now I've already put all my pinwheels together with the supplies that came in the kit, so I'm just going to show you how to make a pinwheel using a scrap piece of paper. This measures four by four. I believe the ones in the kit were a little bit larger, but all you're going to do is fold from one corner to the next, and then fold the opposite corners. This is going to give you lines that you're going to cut with your scissors. And you're going to cut probably about an inch from the center. So not all the way to the center. And you don't have to be perfect with this. So you can see that we've cut to about an inch from the center. And next you're going to use your bone folder and you're going to hold the center and you're going to slightly curl one of the ends. This will help make the paper a little more pliable. And you really want to grip that center so you don't accidentally tug one of these off. This is the left side that we're folding, so we're going to fold all the left sides. So now that you have all the sides that are kind of folded, you can see how this is going to start to curve towards the center. The ones in the My Paper Pumpkin kit had a tiny little hole punched in each of these corners so you could put the brad through and then go through the center. I'm going to use glue dots because that's just a little bit easier. So I'm just going to take the corner and press it to the glue dot. And I'm going to go right to the center. And just repeat that all the way around. And there's your pinwheel. It's that simple. You poke a hole in the center and add your brad. You could put glue dot or dimensionals on the back and add a decorative stick. These little pinwheels that came in the My Paper Pumpkin kit have these nice giant brads for the center. You could also have a button for the center of your pinwheel. And they also came with these really cute straws. You can add a glue dot to one end, place it on the back, and press firmly and it's ready to decorate. I actually had a lot of these pinwheels left over and I thought they would make a cute arrangement so I have this little tin container with some styrofoam inside and I just stuck the straws right into the styrofoam. I'm going to find something decorative to cover up that styrofoam but it'll make a cute centerpiece for 4th of July. I hope you enjoyed these tips. For more ideas please visit me at KeenanCreations.com. Thanks and have a great day!